Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Antoinette from Simply a Chic. In this video I am sharing how I recreated these gorgeous curved candle holders using some hula hoops from Dollar Tree. This video is also part of Look for Less Challenge that is being hosted every month by Yami at the Latina Next Door and her co-host for this month is Jelena from Blondie Next Door. I will link their channels and a playlist down in the description box for you to be inspired. So I found my inspiration in Pinterest at Macy's.com and the ones at Macy's were super pricey. As you can see here, the price was a little bit over $300 eighty dollars and I recreated mine for under ten dollars now let me show you how easy and affordable this project was and here I am showing you what I needed for each candle holder to make so I picked up six of the small size hula hoops from Dollar Tree this black spray paint that I already had and this LED pillar candle from Dollar Tree as well and I had three of these candles that I repurposed from old projects and of course I need some hot glue so I'm gonna start off with removing the sticker wrap that is around all the hula hoops. They come off very easy. You just need to find the first piece to start peeling. And once all the wrap is off, then I open each hoop and remove the beads inside. Now for the larger hoops, I cut about one quarter off and I am using the scissors here. It does the job perfectly, so use whatever you need to use. Then I interlock the hoop back together. Be careful with bending, feel free to use some hot glue for extra security. And here I am trying to see how I will assemble them before painting them. Once I finish the two hoops that are same size for the large candle holder, I go ahead and do the same thing on the medium ones and small ones. And as I was cutting these hoops to the desired sizes, I noticed that it was easier to interlock the larger ones together then the medium ones were okay but the smaller ones was really hard to interlock them together so be extra careful not to cut too small I really wanted the small candle holder to look much smaller than what I ended up with but as I said it was really hard to bend the hoop as you see here I was being extra careful and once it's interlocked make sure to use some kind of hot glue or E6000 for extra security at first I didn't use any and one of them just popped so I went back and added some hot glue to all. And here I have all six of them ready to be assembled. At this point you might need someone to help you hold while you are gluing them together. I did it on my own but I struggled a little so at first I started gluing the lid at the bottom between the two hoops. And once that was secured, I add some E6000 to the inside of the two hoops here where they connected. I also added some hot glue as well and I hold for a few seconds. I did same thing with the rest until all three were ready to be painted. Now I took them outside and I will spray paint them with this Rust-Oleum black paint but you could spray paint any color of your choice. <laughs> Once they are dry, I will go ahead and add the LED pillar candle. I don't recommend using real candles with real flames because these loops are made of plastic and it will cause a fire. So pillar candles or battery operated candles would work perfectly. Here is the finished look of my curved candle holders. I absolutely love how beautiful they came out. I mean they don't look perfect as the original ones but with $10 worth I think they look so cute. And I am so proud that I was able to recreate mine for less than $10 comparing to the ones at Macy's for $380. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and share it with family and friends also make sure to visit the playlist for more inspirational ideas like this one thank you so much for watching I hope to see you on my next one until then be well and have fun